Good morning, Morai Rabotai. We are continuing on Masechet Avod Azara, and we are on Daf Samichtit, Amud Bet, about seven lines from the bottom of the Amud. We discuss the explanation of the Mishnah, and we had the fourth and final case of the Mishnah speaking about the case that the Jew and the Oved Kochavim are eating together, the Jew leaves. And depending on what he told him, if he told him, make, at, make, make yourself at home, or he didn't, then we, we judged basically if only the wine on the table is asur, because that in any case, a goy would feel comfortable. He's invited to the Jewish house, and he's of course pouring for himself whatever they put in front of him. That of course would not be a problem. So therefore that wine for sure would be asur when the Jew leaves the room. But the, the Gemara said, if you told him, feel at home and do whatever you want, then even the wine that's open, the open barrels in the bar that's not on the table, that also would be asur. And if the Jew said he's going to go for a while, then if the, the Goy had enough time, says the Gemara, to break the seal of the new and sealed barrels of wine and then redo the entire seal, then all those wines also are going to be asur, which is the shita of Rabban Shimon Ben Gamliel, not like Chachamim. So in this case, the Gemara only mentions, Mishnah only mentions the shita of Rabban Shimon Ben Gamliel, whereas in the previous three cases, and the Mishnah Mentioned the Chachamim say, well, enough time to put to poke a little hole in the lid and then just smear cover the hole, which is a much shorter time that the goy would need with the wine. Here, the Mishnah only brings the Rashbag's Shita, which you know you pretty much it's it's a much bigger kula, much bigger leniency that you have to leave the goy alone with the barrel of wine for. A, Extended period of time enough that he takes off the whole lid, takes whatever he wants from the, the, the wine, and then he puts a new lid with a new smeared, um, either you know you have sid or um, or or clay that he puts there, and that's going to be asur. Anything shorter than that period of time, it's going to be mutas. So says the Gemara. Don't I know? Because the Gemara said halacha is like Rabban Shimon Gamliel. Because you see, the last case of the Mishnah only brings Rabban Shimon Gamliel. So says the Gemara, that's pashut. Of course, halacha should be like Rabban Shimon Gamliel. And the Gemara says no. Maybe I would have thought that the last story, the last case of the Mishnah, is Rabban Shimon Gamliel speaking. So therefore, of course, he's going to only bring his own shita. It's not really the Tarakama saying this, the, the case, but Rabban Shimon himself is speaking. That last uh, scenario is Rashbag speaking in the Mishnah. Kamash Malan, it teaches you that no, it's the Tanah of the Mishnah saying that the halacha is like Rabban Shimon that we are more lenient when it comes to these things. They has to be made to perfection. So therefore, the goy would need a long time alone with the wine, and only then the wine is going to be asur. Anything short of that, it's not going to be asur. And the Gemara now asks a fantastic question. So wait a second. So we pass in like Rashbag, so we pass in like Rashbag that we are not concerned about poking a hole in the lid, right? That short time is not going to, to cut it. And we also, if you remember, Paskin, like in Gemara earlier on, in Daflamit Aleph, for those who have done some Chazara, remember, we Paskin like Rabbi Eliezer. Says the Gemara, that Rabbi Eliezer Paskin in Daflamit Aleph, that we are not concerned that the Goy is going to forge the seal on a barrel of wine. Right? Now, do you need chotam beto chotam for yai nesech? But nevertheless, we're not concerned that the goy is going to forge the seal of a yai nesech, of, a, of a, yeah, the barrel of wine. So therefore, if we pass in like Rashbag, that we're not concerned about poking a hole, we're only concerned about breaking the seal and forging it, but in that, halachai is like a that we're not concerned about them breaking the seal completely and completely forge the whole seal of Yain Esech, of the barrel that they touched. So it says the Gemara, Ha'itna maitama, 
Lo motzvin al cham rabbi adod of the kuchavim. Why is it that nowadays that we know we pass in like Rashbag, we pass in like both of the leniencies? So the combination of those two halachot should should give should make it that we should not be concerned about leaving wine with goyim altogether. So says the Gemara. Amar Rava. Oh well, the Gemara says mishum shaycha. It's because of the small hole that they would they would have already in the lid of a chavit. So here it is. Shaycha was for the quality control of the wine, they would have a tiny, tiny hole in the lid for it to air out. And says the Gemara, that little thing, he could widen it just a little bit and drink from it and take out from it a small amount. But that's what we are concerned about. Not Nothing really... Uh, more than that, and that's why we don't leave the wine with the goyim, but we're not, because if, if that is not an issue, if you didn't have shaycha, if you didn't put that hole in, then we take, uh, would not be necessarily concerned about uh, leaving wine with the goy, because we pass in the crash bag, that he's not going to poke a hole in the, um, in the lid, because that doesn't work, and we are also not um, concerned about forgery of the entire seal because we're passing like Rabbi Eliezer. So says the Gemara, um, we, we're going to go through a series of small stories that happened um, in regards to Yai Nesech, some nine of them, eight or nine of them, nine of them, really we're going to s- speak about that the Rava Paskind many leniencies in the Alachot of Yai Nesech. So here it is. Zona Amar Rava, the two lines up. Amar Rava, Zona Ovedet Kuchavim Veisrael Mesubi Mesla. You have a Zona who is a Goya, and a bunch of Jews are eating by her, right? These are not uh, very reputable Jews, of course, otherwise they would not be, um, you know, hanging around a Zona. So therefore, the question is, Chamra. Shari, Rava says, the wine that's on the table is mutar still. Right? Even though that these people are doing znut, it's not, they're not necessarily people of high reputation, but nehide takif le isra da avera, even though that their yetzer hara of avera is taken the better side of them, but says the Gemara, Yitzra the Yai Nesech lo takif lehu. The Yitzra Hara of Yai Nesech, there's no Yitzra Hara of Yai Nesech. You don't say, well, because they're doing an Avera, they throw in the towel, they say, you know what, um, we got to even do Yai Nesech. No, they're careful, they're not going to let her touch the wine. They're not going to let her touch the wine, and hence, they are the Mashgiach Timidi, so to speak, on the wine. That wine is Mutar. <laughs> but the reverse case, if you have a Zona Israelit, if you have a Zona who is a Jewish woman, of the Kuchavim Mesubim, and the men are the Goyim, and there is wine there, it's her wine. It's the Jew, Jewish woman's wine. Says the Gemara Chamra Asur. That wine is Asur. Why? My Tama. Ho'il vezila alaihu, because she has brought herself down in front of them to be a Zona for them. Batraihu Girira. She's not going to have the stamina. The um, emotions are to, to stand in front of them. If they want to touch it, she's not going to say no. And therefore, the wine is to be assumed to be Yai So that's the first one. Says the Gemara, Ha'ubeta, the second story. Ha'ubeta da'avoyati be This is a house that had Jewish wine in it. Alovet kochavim, achda ledasha bapa. A goy came in, and he locked the door behind him. We have a biz abedasha, but the the way the door was, it had a, cr- a large crack in it. That from it, if you came by the door, you could see the barrels of wine. Some of the barrels of wine, at least, you could see the area where the wine was kept. And now the halacha is um, asked whether or not you could rely on the fact that you could see the wine, and maybe the wine should not be, even though that this. Uh, Goy had yichud with the wine. He, the door was locked. Nobody could get in. 
But you can see what he's doing. So maybe that's considered mutar. At the end, when they came in, they found the goy was actually in the area of the barrels of wine. So what is he doing there? And the question is if the, the whole wine is going to become Yainesach because it was there. Amar Rava, another leniency from Rava. Rava says, Kol, that had a biza, shari, anything that is in the eye shot of the, uh, this crack in the door, that if you would come, you would be able to see those, those barrels. They are mutar because the goy would never touch them. He knows that this crack is in the door. He knows that a Jew could be coming by the door and see even before knocking and before getting in. You could see them if he is menasech the wine, if he touches the wine. Hence, those barrels are mutar, but anything to the right, anything to the left of that, um, that screenshot, so to speak, that you could see from, from the door would be asur. The haigisa or the haigisa asur. Third story. How chamra di Israel, tavoyate bebeta, the, the way their houses were, where two families lived in the same building, it was like a, a duplex, but with the stairs inside, basically. So the, the family that lived upstairs could actually come down and see. Sometimes they also had uh, overlapping balcony type. They could see actually from upstairs. They could see what's happening downstairs. So this was a scenario that the Jew lived upstairs, the Goy lived downstairs, and the wine of the Jew was downstairs by the Goy, but it was in a, in a way that the Jew could see from upstairs what's happening with the wine, right? So therefore, it was mutar. Uh, but what happened was, Shamu kol tigra, there was a commotion outside, and they both ran to see what's happening, right? And, you know, there was a crowd, whatever it was people were busy with, and at some point, the goy ran in and locked the door. And now the one says, wait, he was alone with the wine of the Jew when the locked door, now the, the Jew is not, wasn't there at that time. The Jew was not there. He was alone with a locked door in a house with the wine. It should be Asur. Says Rava, no, Mutar. Another kula from, from Rava. Amar Rava, Kham Rashar, he's still mutar. Why? Because he doesn't know that he, he's in and the Jew is not in. It was, a, it was a crowd. They ran out. They got lost in the crowd. And may, may have been, actually, that the, the Jew came in before him. So for all um, intensive purposes, the Jew could be upstairs. And then as soon as he go to touch the wine, he could come from the Aliyah and see what you're doing. And then... Um, you're finished. So therefore, he, ha- he has mirtat, he has this um, scare and fear, built in fear that the Jew is upstairs. So therefore, even though that in reality, we know that the Jew wasn't there at that point, the Goy didn't know that. And therefore, the Jew himself came and asked the question, right? So he didn't know it. And therefore, the wine said, Rava would be mutar. Memar Amar, because he says in his mind, Ki de kadim ana, just like I came from the crowd earlier that the crowd left, I ran in. Maybe the Jew also came in before me. Kadim v'ate Yisrael v'yativ be'elyona. And he's sitting up there. And as soon as I touch the wine, he's going to see me. And therefore, he's not going to be risking it, touching the wine. Next story. Ha'ushpiza davayati bechamra de Yisrael. So you had a... Um, an inn, a motel, and then he had the wine of a Jew sitting there. And a goy oved kochavim was found in between the barrels of wine. So what's the halacha then? So says the Gemara, I'm a Rava. Rava says it depends. Imrit pas alav ke ganav shari. If it's a scenario in which when you find him over there, it's going to be Nitpas Kikanov. He was not allowed to be there. He's not allowed to be there. There's no other excuse. It's not that, uh, well, the bathroom upstairs was clogged and um, there's a bathroom right behind the barrels of wine. So I was just going through to go to the There's no excuse like that. If you're there, you are trespassing big time and... You're caught red-handed, 
Says Rava, in that case, it's mutar. Why? Because the guy that goes there knowing that he's not going to the bathroom, he's not going to touch the wine because he knows at any given second someone could come down and see him there and that means you're caught red-handed and therefore he would not um, dare touching the wine. He would not do it knowing that the Jew could be coming and catching him. The ilo asurbat, if there's a bathroom on the way, if there are other excuses that even if you just caught, so oh, I'm just, you know, doing my thing, then we are actually much more concerned because he's comfortable doing what he's doing, and therefore it would be Asur. Next story. There was a house with wine in it, and the goy was found in between the barrels of wine. So, now this is, of course, um, not even a ushpiza, it's not like an inn, that people are going and coming all the time, but it's a house. So Amarava i itle le ishtamuti chamra asir veilo chamra shari. So if he could um, escape, basically, the reasoning when, when, when they ask him what's happening, if he is caught there in the house alone with the wine, and he could say, well, I came here um, because... Whatever reason that he could give. Take a look at Rashi. He eat le leishtamuzi velomar le kach nichnasti. I have a reason. There's the bathroom here. Whatever excuse that he has, or uh, you know, he has a meditation room down there. If he has a reason to be mishtamet and say that's why I came here, not because I want to touch the wine, um, then hamra asir. Then it's asur because he's not scared to be found there alone with the wine. He has always a um, scapegoat, so to speak. He say, I came to do other things over here. Therefore, he feels comfortable, and in a small moment, he could do um, a yainesich, and therefore, it would be asur. But again, if he, he has a built-in fear, because there is no other excuse to be down there, therefore, it would be mutar. So very similar to the case of Ushpiza, Ravas is not just in Ushpiza that he could apply that, but similar case is going to be applied in the house as well. Next case, says the Gemara. Now, before, before next case, actually, says the Gemara, they asked in the Bit Midrash, and this Psak of Rava, Metive, they asked in the Bit Midrash, Nin ala pundak o she'amar lo shomer is asur. If the, um, you have a pundak, you have an inn, and a goy was locked in to the pundak with the wine of a Jew, or the Jew told him, Shmor, keep my wine. Keep my wine, watch over it, which indicates that I'm going to go for a while, I'm going to be gone for a while, so you watch over my wine, then, says the Gemara, it's going to be asur. So, in the Betvirash, they asked, wait a second, what's the difference between the case that the goy was found in the, in the house with the barrels of wine or in the pundak? And this case of the brighter that says, if you found the goy in the pundak that was locked behind the door alone with the wine, it's going to be asur. My lava falgav de Why wouldn't we say that the brighter that talks about the goy being locked in the pundak alone with the wine is a case that he has no other excuses? And still, right, the, the uh, wine is asur, even though that he has no other excuse why he is found with the barrels of wine, still is asur, and that would be a stirav, the Pesach of Rava. The says, no, no, but the itle is what is. The says, that there also we're talking about only in a case that if the goy is uh, found down there with the wine barrels, he could say, well, I'm just using the bathroom or meditating, whatever it is that he, he has an excuse. That's why it's Asur. Le'olam, in all the cases that he doesn't have an excuse, it will be mutar because it's a built-in fear. That if the, the Yid comes and sees him with the barrels of wine, he's going to be caught red-handed without any answers, and therefore it will be, um, he would be too scared to do that. And if you found him he, there, it's mutar. Next case. Ha'hu Yisrael wobet kuchavim da'avu yatvi v'kashatu chamra. A goy and a Yid... They were sitting about to drink wine. They, they wanted to sit and, and drink wine. And then, all of a sudden, Shammai Israel calls to He hears the, the Gabai 
starting Mincha, right? And he tells the guy, he says, I'm going to go daven and come back. Before, before, before we drink, so he says, He hears the, vo- the voice of davening from the Bet Knesset. He got up and he left to Shul to daven Mincha. I'm a Rava, even though that oh, the Mincha takes, like, you know, t- takes time. The Goy has the comfort knowing that this guy is going to daven and once he goes to the oven, he's going to be gone for a while. So I have time with this wine. And it could be menasech. Rava said again, another kula, another leniency from Rava. Ama Rava cham rashad is muter. Why? Why is it muter? Hare, he knows that the, the, the year is going to be gone for a while. Says the Gemara. Rava said because of the following reason. Amar hashtamit karlele chamre. Because the goy thinks in his mind, he says, yeah, this guy went running to Mincha. But he forgot that he left his wine with me. Everybody knows that the Jew is not allowed to leave his wine with the Obed Kochavim. So you know what's going to happen? On the way, he's going to remember, in the middle of Ashri Yeshua Vetecha, right? He's going to remember that he left his wine with me, and he's going to just come running back. Any moment he could remember and just run back, because um, he left his wine alone with me. And hence, says Rava, he does not feel comfortable doing anything, that, anything wrong, and the wine is mutar. Because hashta amar hashta mitkar le lechamre vehadar ati, and therefore the wine is mutar. Next case. Hahu Yisrael vovet kochavim that we yatpi be'arba. Now a Jew and a and a ovet kochavim are sitting on a boat on a ship by the port. Shama Yisrael kol shofri the beshimshi, and this is Friday afternoon, and they used to blow shofar like the baras is on Shabbat. Announcing the coming of the Shabbat, so you got to get going, and they hear the, the shofar of Erev Shabbat indicating that in a few minutes it's going to be Shabbat, and the Jew jumped up and ran out of the, the boat, right? But well, he forgot something, he forgot his wine with the goy. Nafak Vazil, he got up and he left the boat, leaving his, his wine behind, and now the question is well, my wine was there on Shabbat with this goy. Is a mutar asur alone on a boat, and Rava is a koach de hetera of Rava. Rava says mutar, mutar. Why is it mutar? Amar Rava chamra shari, because memar Amar hashta mitkar lele chamre. Same logic. The guy is thinking, oh, he's going to remember that he left his wine. He's going to come running. Vehadarati, ay, the guy knows that the Jew keeps Shabbat. And if you keep Shabbat, it's Asur on Shabbat to jump on a boat, right? You cannot do that. But in other words, once Shkia hits, once Shabbat comes in, the guy should feel comfortable because the, the Jew is not going to, if he's Shomer Shabbat, he's not going to jump on a boat on Shabbat. So why is that mutar? The, you know, he knows that the Jew has Shabbat and it's Asur for him to get on a boat. Says the, the Gemara, a very interesting svarat, a, a logic to be lenient, um, it comes as a surprise. Says the Gemara, Ha'amar, and the reason is because uh, Rava said, Amari Isur Giora, that Isur, the name of the guy that became a Ger Tzedek, used to be a, a fine certified Ovet Kochavim. And then we came to Gert Zedek. He said, this Isur Gira told me, when I was a goy, ki havinan be'armiyutan, when I was a Aramai, when I was a, 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 a regular goy, amrinan yehudai lo mintri Shabbat. I, we used to say that the Jews don't keep Shabbat. Right? Why? The imintri Shabbat, kama kisi kamishtaki beshuka. Because if they would keep Shabbat, you know how many... Uh, things of money, wallets of money we would, we would find on Friday afternoon when Shabbat kicks in and people are still walking um, and, and they're caught by Shabbat, the halacha should be that they should drop their, their money, right? It should be the best business to go around where the passage is Jews at, at, on Shabbat afternoon and find this money and pick up. You should find credit cards and wallets and all these things um, all over the place. But we never find, we've tried. We never find them. So it must be that when Shabbat comes, when it comes to their money, they don't keep Shabbat. So therefore, that's how the Goyim think. 
Right. So therefore, the guy says, well, he's going to lose his wine. He's never going to lose his wine. He's going to be coming, running back once he remembers that he left his wine. Now, what's the truth? The truth is, of course, the Jews do keep Shabbat. <clears throat> they didn't know. And I didn't know the Sevira Lan Krabi Yitzchak. Let me pass in Rabbi Yitzchak. The Am Rabbi Yitzchak, Hamotze Kis Shabbat. And if you find you're stuck, Shkia is coming, and you find that you're, you still have your wallet on you on Shabbat, it's going to become Shabbat now. Molicho pachot pachot midaret amot. You don't have to drop it necessarily. Chazal or metakeda. You could go less than four amot. Stop. Less than four amot. Stop. Less than four amot. It's not hotza midoraita. And then you get into the house. However, you throw it in, and so on and so forth. There is. We have worked around this this issue, and therefore it will be mutar. The next uh, two cases we'll discuss in the days to come.